There are two names that will always be synonymous with the Jacksonville Jaguars, Tom Coughlin and Tony Baselli. Coughlin is the first head coach in the franchise's history. Baselli is the first player the team drafted. Tonight I'm one-on-one -on -one with Baselli, who is ready to welcome Coughlin into the pride of the Jaguars. He never let me relax. He never let me be satisfied. Um, I mean, I was always the hardest on myself until I got to Tom, and I think he was even harder than I <laughs> Every player who played for the Jacksonville Jaguars during the Tom Coughlin era has a story to tell. This is when I figured out, like, who Tom Coughlin was and what I was in for, because he sat there and not only grilled me, but grilled my now wife for an hour and a half over dinner. And uh, that was the start of a relationship. Jaguars great Tony Baselli's first encounter with TC really was no different than any other. Coughlin wasted no time setting the tone. Respect the heck out of him, but he was tough to play for. Man, he was tough. He was disciplined. He was he was unrelenting. Coughlin drafted Baselli number two overall in the 1995 NFL Draft. Baselli was the anchor of the Jags offensive line during the team's most successful years. It was like his way or the highway, and this is how we're going to do it. And if we do it this way, we're going to be prepared. If, we, if we're prepared and play hard, we're going to have a chance to win football games. So um, looking at the moment, it was miserable at times. Looking back, I appreciate um, his approach. Didn't always like it. Still don't agree with all the dang rules he had. Uh, but that's okay. He was the boss. He was the leader. And it was his job uh, to get us to where we needed to go. All Coughlin did was help Basella become the Jaguars' first player to be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Tony, you've made it no secret, even when you were uh, inducted in the Hall of Fame not that long ago, that when they let Tom Coughlin go, you had a tough time with it. Oh, at the time, I mean, like, I get why they moved on, like a couple losing seasons. But looking back and what he did at New York, you could argue, probably should have given him a chance to see if he could rebuild it. And, but I also think, and, and this is what you got to realize in life. Maybe the best thing for Tom was getting fired. I think he learned. I think what worked, what could he improve on? Because that's the other thing. Tom was, he was always trying to get better himself. Like, and I always tell people, like, Tom would not ask you to do anything or to live to a standard or set the standard at a place that he wasn't willing to live up to or work towards. Has he, has he talked to you about, because you're inducted into the Pride of the Jaguars, what the experience was like for you and what to expect? No. I know it's important to him. That's clear in conversation with him. Jacksonville means a lot to Tom Coughlin and his family. Um, and for me, I know we're honoring uh, Tom for what he did as a Jacksonville Jaguar head coach, and that's why he's getting his name in the pride of the Jaguars. Uh, I think it's also important to remember the impact he's made in our community yes. uh, through the J Fund. Tony Baselli told me that why Tom Coughlin no doubt belongs in the pride of the Jaguars, he also thinks Coughlin will be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame.